Hey YouTube, how you doing? Destroyer here, playing a little bit more with uh, Lu Yongfei, and I want to make this a how to play video for my how to play series. This is going to be episode 31. Um, now Lu, uh, Lu Yongfei is, is a highly uh, burst damage hero, and he does DOT as well. So. We're going to get in. I'm going to show you all how to play him. A couple people have been asking uh, about, hey, how do I play him? Can you do in-game builds? Which I'm going to come out with an in-game build with him as well. So I always start out with the this first skill here, Lightning Burst. And the reason is because it will allow me to effectively get those creeps. Now, it lasts three seconds and has a range of uh, five meters as well as the range for me to throw it is 10 meters so you can basically extend this skill a little bit uh, as I'll show you in a second about 12 to 13 meters so as you can see because the center kind of like a gambler skill and such so I like using a mid you can use them more as an assassin and such so you can use them mid or in uh, jungle both are very uh, beneficial I do suggest you know doing a lot of running with him around the map you want to get those kills so like I said that lightning burst you throw it in like this this is gonna allow you to do that damage as you can see over time and let you come in and get those uh, final hits on your creeps and this is Cedric is just going to keep spitting and look at the uh, damage over time that it's doing to him. So I'm going to switch sides, see if I can help this guy just a little bit. Get my level 2 in a second. And boom, going to jump in with my level 2 and it looks like we got him nice and easy. So the second skill, second skill I always get is a uh, Lord of Lightning now this skill allows me to slow the person allows me to slow that person okay we got that allows me to slow that person 40% for three seconds as well as doing more damage now it does 90 plus a red number and I want to go ahead and tell you that red number will increase when I get um, more damage. So such as a uh, Iron Claymore or anything else. I'm going to cross the mid and get that. The third skill I always level up is this one, the Lightning Laceration. Now this has two different abilities. One, you can press it and it does a 20 second cooldown and it marks all the enemies. And this will do 3% of the overall HP they have at that time. Um, also, it will allow you, if you're in a team fight with somebody, to blink in. Now, it always doesn't proc. It's about, I've uh, kind of tested it a little bit. It's about 50% of the time that this will allow you to blink in there and if it does successfully blink in there the cooldown is a half a second which is very beneficial for you and your teammates so I'm gonna get back here gonna throw that DOT just in case if they come back through there so the next skill I want to level up is that second skill and this skill is going to be very, very good to me. See, they're going to come in on this. I'm going to go ahead, slow that as Sidrix. going to use that blink, and I'm blinking out. Because he's getting a port in. Okay, I'm going to come back. Got my level up. Oh, he came back in. So this fish, oh, we're not, we're good, we're good. So we're going to twitch back. Oh, they're getting another port in. So fish is going in for a bait here. Looks like they're going to push in on top lane. Hopefully 
uh, a couple of us can get together and we'll get a portal jump on them. So it looks like they've pushed that top lane. There is Fish. I'm going to go ahead and get in behind him. He's baiting us through there, as you can see. So we're going to... So hopefully... Okay, we're jumping through Portal. I'm going to get in on this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and port back home after this next creep wave. And the reason is, is because I need that damage. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a facebreaker. Now, there is two levels that are two ways to level up the next skill. You can play them both ways. Leveling up the second skill all the way. Lord of Lightning can do awesome. Now, this is about, I think it's 45 or 40% 40 of your overall attack the red number so the scaling on this is very beneficial and the first skill you can use this one as well so we're gonna see if I can help my guy and unfortunately I wasn't able to so it looks like Arya is getting jumped in mid right here oh and she does she goes down Good gank by the other team there. So basically what I want to do is use this first skill, blink in, and uh, slow them that percentage, and then using my third skill. Now that second skill is AOE, which is an area of effect. So it can slow anybody in the team fight, three or four people. So hopefully we'll cross here. And uh, I am definitely going to want to get this fish. So Melina is going to go down. I got her. Getting my level up. So they're pulling back a little bit. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get these creeps a little bit. And push into this. Now since I just got my level 6. We got my ulti. Which is the kick. So if we're able to. We'll get in on this. Now the kick will kick somebody 30. We'll kick will kick 30 meters now we do have a push maybe on the back by Daliana going for our tower so we'll see what happens maybe we can take this tower Daliana is gonna come back through possibly and that's not gonna happen I'm gonna be able to take this tower with no contest there's fish we're just going to blink on him and see if we can make him waste his ulti. I'm going to kick him back. Use uh, this to get the kill here. And boom. Got it. And I'm back. Now as you see, uh, he did hit the post here. That will go a full uh, 30 meters. And when you use the first kick to kick him out, that does 100 plus the red number. And when you use it again... It will do 300 plus a red number. So very, very OP damage that it can proc and do. So it looks like we definitely might need to cross into mid, uh, mid lane here. If this girl keeps pushing. Here we go. We got three up here. Dally wants the booty, man. Dally wants the booty. So, we're going to go ahead and use this just to keep kiting. One thing that is amazing about this guy is his uh, DOT is not that bad. So, here we go. Team fight coming in. Melina coming back. I'm going to kick her, get her out. And here we go with Citrix. Oh man, the rush didn't happen. So I'm going to get the blink. Oh, the slow just barely missing. Now, like I said, you can use that two different ways. Um, the second skill. You can use that second skill. 
by itself or you can use it in combination with the first skill and getting that uh, blink so it looks like helm might need to back so we're gonna get this and I am going to port home Now, since I can, I'm going to go ahead and buy more of uh, the, the attack, and hopefully we'll see what happens. Might buy some HP after this for some defense. So as you can see, since I have the Lord of Lightning leveled all the way up, I'm doing 270 plus 81 as the red number. Now, as I increase that damage will uh, see that scale level up a lot. So we're gonna try to get in on this Acidrix here. I'm gonna blink in on him. Oh yes, gonna give that away. Melina coming in. She wants me, she wants me. Oh, good rush in there. I'm gonna come blink back. Oh wow, they totally backed here. We're gonna keep cutting. Melina is my target. So we're gonna keep this push going here. And since I, I am going to be one of their number one targets, I definitely want to stay back a little. Now, one little trick about his ulti. If you can get behind some of them, this will benefit you by kicking them out. Oh my gosh, that was awesome rush there. I'm going to blink out a little bit here. So we got her she's down now we're gonna blink in on him get a slow and this guy is definitely just gonna die here got him dally on his next yep she better run So good healing there done by Forge. So as you see with skill proficiency, I am leveling up my first skill second all the way. Grand jump in, going down, coming in on Daliana. Using my blank Acidrix, the tablet proc, but they will be able to get this Acidrix. Hopefully, yes, good job. Actually, it was funny, the creeps actually got that as Cedrix. But anyways, as you see, I got 4,000 to spend now. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize my DPS, as well as get some physical defense. Now, I do need that physical defense, as you see. Daliana did most of the damage, as well as tower. I was taking a lot of tower hits. So, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get HP first. Then we'll get that physical defense later. So like I said, if you're able to, say uh, this tower is an uh, enemy of mine, if I'm able to get in and blink behind them and then use my ulti to kick them back into my towers is very beneficial. Now it also works well with a combination of horses ulti and uh, Chaoyo Lin's ulti as well. After she gets all of her doppelgangers out, you use a kick to kick somebody out and then when you rush to her, she rushes as well. So we're gonna switch. It looks like uh, Dragon would be a good catch here. Big push on top by Helm and Nomad. I'm just gonna blink in here. Tower destroyed. 
So as you can see, that does not go off as much. Now, a little bit of a trick here that you can use with that second skill. See, the cooldown for the first skill is a little bit longer than the second skill. So when you go in here, you blink in, and then if you're still in that team fight, you can use that second skill six seconds later. Very beneficial for you and my team. We're going to come up top here, see if we can uh, get some of these guys. Yeah, that is true. Looks like a Sidrix. Hopefully I can stop him. We're going to blink in on this. Get the slow and the kill. Nice. We're going to... Uh, there's There he is. Come on. Oh, unable to get it. But that's okay. This will allow us to push the this lane and take this tower maybe. Maybe we'll get... Uh, we'll get Guja here. This is going to be good for us. Nomad's gonna jump in. I'm gonna go ahead and, and proc it little, real quick. Nomad's gonna do a bit of tanking. And uh, another quick thing I do want to talk to you all about is the third skill does not work on dragon and only works on enemy heroes. So it won't work on dragon, mogul, or any of the other neutral creatures. This is something to keep in mind. You know, you don't want to use those blinks to try to get away or or use it in any other way so Lun Yon Fei we're definitely gonna keep working on this I just got my ulti leveled up and let's see if we can get in behind this and kick one of these people out looks like a good team fight coming up soon Good bit of kiting going on. I'm hoping to get a kick. Uh, get a kick to kick one of these guys Tower out. See him. Fish might look like. Oh, and the stud. I'm gonna blink out of here. Oh, no way the heal didn't go off on time. I'm going to come back, go in on Forge here, because he's going to allow me to stay alive coming in. Oh, Dally, we're going to switch back on tower. Unfortunately, I died. But I was trying to get that kick out. Now, if you're successful with that, it will definitely benefit you and your team the uh, best. Because that kick out will generate more kills for you and your team um, and help keep the enemy hero uh, depressed. Oh, they're going to be sad. So Dally's getting in here. Oh man, switch back, giving the kills away. So they're all down. I'm going to help their economy here real quick buying me some HP <laughs> alright so it looks like they're gonna tower dive them and I don't really want to do that so I'm, well, I'm just gonna finish off this tower so quick couple things to remember try using that ulti to get people out of the team fight but in an area to your benefit not to the enemy's benefit so if you kick yourself into their tower it's not going to be beneficial um so that's about it also remember leveling up that second skill is very beneficial uh but some people play the other way of leveling up the first skill as well you're gonna want to stay back a little unless you're in that one-on-one -on -one team fight and you can get in there and get that kill or kick somebody out of that team fight which I tried and drastically failed unfortunately but 
uh, your team should be there to support you right away. So guys, I hope this helps and thanks again for watching as always. And we'll see, show you a quick item recap. And please, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see y'all out in the battle here, Don. Straw out.